Hello, Dumpsterinos and Frugalistas. We are doing a little experiment today. We're gonna make ourselves a little survival candle in case of emergency. I watched a few videos on uh, people making survival candles with Crisco, which is, you know, vegetable shortening. And Frugal Daddy went off to Walmart yesterday to get milk, because we needed milk. And I said, oh, pick up some Crisco. I want to try to make a candle. I want to see if it really works. So he calls me from Walmart and he's telling me the price of Crisco. Of course, he's looking at Crisco. First, first, first error. Obviously, we're going for the Walmart brand. I said Crisco on the list. I meant the Walmart brand of Crisco. For a big, um, maybe it was like the six pound giant tub of Crisco, it was like $18. I just, I just, I, I just $18 is too much for, for anything, any one item, unless it's a used car, at which point that'd be a good deal. I nixed the shortening. I just said, forget it. It's too expensive. I'm going to do it with bacon fat. Let's experiment. If it works with Crisco, it should work with other kinds of fat. So we're going to make a bacon fat candle. There was my frying pan. I made bacon earlier. Mm -hmm. I um, strained the fat just through a sieve, you know, like a wire mesh sieve. There's still some little tiny bits of bacony goodness there in the bottom of the cup, but I, I just don't think that's a big deal. So we have our jar, our empty jar. This was the blueberry jam we used for the thumbprint cookies the other day. And I know for the wick, it's got to be cotton. And I am hoping that this scrap of fabric is in fact cotton. I have a lot of scraps, lots and lots of scraps of fabric from my um, rag rug projects. And um, anyway, I hope it's cotton, who knows. So what I'm going to do is just tie the, uh, the top of it around this little stick so I can have that to hold the wick in place across the top. Oh, that's a little too long. And I'm just going to try to get the wick to basically go down kind of in the middle. Okay, kind of in the middle. And then I'm just going to pour my, um, my hot melty bacon fat in there. And then we'll pop this in the fridge to firm up. And we'll see. I'm trying to get the wick down into the center. I don't know how much it really matters, but we'll see if this makes a candle that burns or a Molotov cocktail that burns even more. I don't know. So we'll pop this in the fridge and let the fat harden up and we'll see if it makes a candle and if it makes the house smell like bacon. I think one of the keys to having a clean burning candle is to keep the wick trimmed and I am no expert in the realm of candles, but we need to keep our wick trimmed, I think. So let's pop this in the fridge and we'll see. And of course, obviously you keep your, um, Keep your fat for cooking projects too, but if you have fat that goes rancid, you can still use it to burn. It might not smell great, I don't know. I've never made a rancid fat candle, but that might be coming up soon. All right, girls, check this out. We actually have three bacon candles. I use different kinds of fabric for the two wicks on these two. And then on this one, I shoved a little birthday candle down in there. What do you think of this experiment? I think it's gonna smell really good because I do like the smell of bacon. Yeah, you think bacon candle's a good thing? All right, we have yeah. to trim the wicks. I'm not really sure how long a wick should be when it's made from scrap fabric. But here we go. This will be interesting to see if it works. Let's try the birthday candle first because 
it's it's sticking up a bit from the the bacon fat and I, I think it, it'll it'll catch because it's just the birthday candle but I want to see as it burns down what happens so we'll get that going first watch out oh good job There's a prepper skill I can work on. How to actually light a match. There we go. All right, so there's the birthday candle. Let's try this wick. I don't know if this fabric was actually cotton or it might have had, um, it was stretchy, so I thought, oh, maybe it has like spandex in it, whatever that's made of. But I mean, it lit, you know, the, the fabric absorbed some of the, the bacon fat, it seems. Birthday candle's working its way down there. Here's the one we made together. Come on, light. Is that light? Let's try again. I wonder why. Maybe there's bacon on the. Uh... I think there is, but I think it should still light. I don't know. I thought that one would be the easiest to light. Let's try again. There we go. All right. Well, look at that. Look at the cozy glow. Uh-oh, that one's starting to go out. No. Well, there was a cozy glow there for a moment. All right. So what happened there? I think the, the wick kind of got down into the, um, the melty part, and it flopped over because it's not as stiff as... A regular cotton wick, maybe. Oh, you know what? I think you're supposed to maybe roll the fabric to make it like a wick. I didn't do that. I just put the fabric down in there. So that's something we'll have to try. But it does light, and it does, I mean, it creates a lot of light. be interesting to see how long they would stay lit, you know, compared to a regular wax candle of the same size. All right, let me try to light this other one again. It doesn't really smell like bacon, though, does it? No, I don't really smell it. It smells like fireworks. It does. I, I think that's just from me lighting the matches. Yeah, that relit. So maybe I need to make the fabric strip um, not as wide or, or roll it, like roll it tight. Kind of. It does give a glow though, which I like. The um, baking grease like melts super, super, so much faster than actual wax. Yeah, that's true. The baking grease does melt a lot faster than than a normal wax. I think my favorite one is this one. The birthday candle one it hasn't really gotten down. The top of the birthday candle isn't burned enough yet for it to have really gotten down to the. To the, oh, this one's going out again. And it's also not. We'll honey drain candy. off some of the fat and pour it into the other candle. Now let's see if we can get you lit again. It's a learning curve, folks. Or it could be the type of fabric. This fabric, I was pretty sure, was cotton, and this one, I don't really know. But it's sort of, uh, it's not standing up well as a wick. What I could do is I could just pull the piece of fabric out entirely and I could jam a regular little taper candle down in there, which would work the way the birthday candle is working to make a little lantern light candle thing type deal. Um, because a little thin, narrow tapered candle the candle itself is basically the way to hold a real wick in place. Um, but this one's, that one's doing pretty well. 
The birthday candle is burning extremely slowly, I have to say. Which is good because, like, you want a long lasting candle. You sure do. <clears throat> All right. Well, we're just going to not use that kind of fabric again. Push that one aside. We'll just get a taper candle and jam it down in there. All right. That one's back in the game, and we're just going to jab a birthday candle into that one, too. And just see how it goes. Little tiny birthday candle wick. We'll push it all the way in. All right, let's try to light that. These ones are doing really well. I mean, it's not the most exciting thing to watch, but it proves that one can indeed fashion an emergency light source <laughs> if one runs out of regular candles. It's trying to smell a little bit of bacon, to be honest. I don't smell it bacony at all. I smell, I, fire. Smell a, I smell a bit of bacon mixed with that fire smell. Be good for bacon fat. I wonder how long they'll burn. Mm. Well, there you go. Three bacon candles. Keep those birthday candles handy because you might need the little tapered candle to basically hold the wick in place. And a strip of cotton from a t-shirt is better than whatever that other fabric was. That was from some other shirt that I cut up. You definitely want cotton. This one's doing extremely well. And yeah, the, the top of the bacon grease, I mean, it melts faster than candle wax, but it's still, it's not going down quickly. You know, it, it's feeding the flame like an old kerosene lamp. So save your fat, and if you don't want to cook with your bacon grease, make emergency candles. Thanks for watching. Give this a try. Bye. Bye.